Well, thank you very much. I am deeply honored to receive this award, and I thank all of you, the supporters of the Voices of National Service, for all you do to foster a culture of service and create opportunities for all Americans to serve. In the last six months, we've lost two great Americans who embodied the spirit of service, Senator John McCain and Senator Harris Wofford. But their example sustains and inspires us today and will in the future. This year's event gives us a chance to reflect on their legacies and to recommit ourselves to the tasks they set not only for themselves, but for all of us. And it is extremely fitting that the first John S. McCain Service to Country Award goes to my friend, a noble gentleman, and a great senator, Senator Johnny Isaacson of Georgia, please. Let me join you in saluting all the honorees tonight. Now, for me, national service is one of the core values of the nation. An ethic of service is one of our strengths. Whether you choose to serve for the military or national service programs or a career as a first responder or educator, you are picking up the torch of service from generations past and laying the foundation for a better tomorrow. And I believe we support those we must support those who do that. It's also why I was proud to work with Senator John McCain. Now, John and I had a very special relationship. He maintained throughout his entire uh, life that I did not go to college because I'm a West Point graduate. And <laughs> he may have been right. Uh, but no one's embodied service in so many different dimensions than John McCain. He is one of the great, great heroes of this country. That's why we worked together to establish the National Commission on Military, National, and Public Service to look at not just the selective service, but all types of service for the United States. And I'm looking forward to the report of Chairman Joe Heck and his fellow commissioners, and Chairman Heck is here, another distinguished American public servant. Indeed, I look forward to working with all of you to continue to serve this country, indeed to live up to the pledge of AmeriCorps to get things done for America. Thank you very much.